guys, so today's video is going to be um, about YSL, you send the wrong products, and I will say that I did edit out most of his line. I, I actually own quite a few of his things because honestly, I've just never seen packaging like, well, hello, gold. <laughs> and um, I had his, I think they were five in one eye palettes, and um, they were like having gold bricks. You know, I'd open my cupboard and I'd just be like, oh, I don't, I don't know why I'm doing this. That's so, like, greedy gold. I'm never going to see gold bricks except for, you know, with his eyeshadow palette. So I actually had them stacked and they were just so stunning. The packaging is so stunning um, that I just automatically gravitated towards buying quite a few of his things. And consequently, you know, I just, I want to love it. I want to love his products so badly, but I just don't think they're for me. You know, I've got maybe two, four, five things left um, of the things that uh, I've purchased, and I did purchase quite a bit, and I've just given them away or, or um, returned one or two things. And, um, you know, I just found that the palettes themselves were stunning. The colors were stunning. They were so vibrant. They just looked so beautiful. But, of course, I'm a neutral girl, so I don't know why I was picking some of these palettes. And I found that um, they didn't really have shimmer. They had actual glitter like glit chunks of glitter. I was so shocked. I was so shocked that they would do that. I thought that would be a much more sort of um, younger hip line, you know, younger girls can get away with doing a lot of glitter and things like that. So I was, I was quite surprised. But um, in one of my videos, uh, one of the, the earlier ones, well, earlier as in like, you know, three weeks ago, <laughs> um, you know, I was mentioning Touche Clat and um, I actually tossed it in the bin tossed it, $50 just tossed it because of that horrendous, horrendous smell that I know a lot of you have not experienced, but for those of you who, you ha who have, I mean, you really, you know what I'm talking about. It's just like pee yowzers. So gross. Um, so I just tossed that and, um, and then, you know, the shadows, I weren't really, you know, I wasn't really sort of getting into, but I mean, look at this. Could that be any more beautiful and stunning and gorgeous? I mean, it just, I mean, gosh, if I could just wear that as a brooch or something, I would. But, um, so this was the powder that I got. And the reason why I got this particular one is because it had this, I know that Smashbox has come up with it um, now. I don't know if Yves Saint Laurent was the first one, but I got this quite a while ago. And then I saw the Smashbox come out with Halo and some other lines have come out with it. But you basically turn it and it just shaves um, the powder and just as much as you need and then you know it kind of I'm, I'm not sure if it was for sanitary reasons or or what that was for but I thought that was quite ingenious and it comes with a little brush and I will say that this brush is really good quality it's not like those other things where it comes with applicators and brushes and you just want to toss them that's actually really really nice and um, you know I don't tend to wear powder but if I'm going out for a long, long duration, and I know I may need to sort of, you know, powder down my T-zone and, and, and such, I will take this, although not so much because, you know what I noticed about these? They're heavily, heavily perfumed. That's what I noticed about a lot of his products. I mean, that's really perfumey, and it's not sort of like a fresh, crisp thing. It's quite perfumey. Um, but, uh, you know, ingenious nonetheless, and I mean, that just is so stunning, and I just couldn't bear to part with it, just for aesthetic purposes. I was just like, you know, I could just lay that down somewhere, but I really don't tend to keep things and, um, you know, just so that it looks good. It has to be functional. I have to use this because, you know, these things go bad after a while. I mean, this one, not as much because you're shaving each bit off, and there's nothing actually touching um, that product because I've kept, you know, the plastic little thingy because, you know, I'm totally crazy anal. So there's that. Um, I will say this little lip pen, um, clickety click, you know, love it. I mean, I love the Stila ones. They were so easy to go and you clicked it and then you just went. And so I got this one and, um, but you know what I was shocked about? Glitter. Like, I don't know if you can see that. It looks quite fantastic, and yet it's got total glitter particles. And I asked the rep about that, and she said, well, that's what keeps it long-lasting, where you always have 
sort of something on your lip and it's light reflective so it, it just lasts longer and I, and I thought well yeah I mean that's that's a really really great idea but you know I don't want people to go wow that glitter sure lasts a long time on your lips you know you just you want it to be almost sort of um, non-existent you just want everything to sort of mesh together and not have one thing just like crazy stand out and so I was quite surprised that they were doing that much glitter on it you know the smell of it again a little bit off with me and um, I know some people love this line and I'm so happy that you do because I really I really do want to love it there are so many great things about it but I think one of them is the fragrance it's quite heavy and quite perfumey um, now so those two you know and eh, I got this one, sorry I've got tape all over it because my cat's, mm -mm, you know, oh look mom, mm -mm, here we go, $40 later. Um, this is their lip balm and uh, nail, lip and nail balm. Now I don't know if you'd want to use something that pricey on your nails, I have, um, but I prefer something else. And this smells fantastic, I have to say. Um, you know, they're known for their mango scent, I actually smelled more apricot, peach, but I could totally be wrong. Um, and it's very luxurious and it's very um, silky. I mean, it's just so smooth on the lips. Again, I wouldn't really necessarily use it on my nails. Um, it's a bit pricey for that, but was it? would I buy that again? Not for $40. I've got a Holy Grail lip balm, $15. Well, $13.95 in some places. Um, that beats this, hands down. So, um, but again, I mean, very, it's, it's just, I actually really, really loved this product. It's just a bit too pricey that I wouldn't really repurchase again for what it is for lip balm and nail care. Um, so that's the sort of, you know, medium level. The first two I was like, yeah, no, no, those aren't really working for me. That, you know, did work for me. And um, what I do love is this particular eyeshadow. It's Ombre Solo in number 10. And I love this brown. Um, Can you see sort of this shimmer? I really, really love this brown. I've got a lot of browns, but um, this one is one of my favorites. So that was definitely a hit. And of course, you know, the beautiful packaging, but I quite love this. It's got great shimmer, great pigmentation. It just glides on quite smoothly. So I quite love that. And then, um, you know, one of the things that I got in previously was the Rouge Volupte, and um, because, I mean, again, the packaging is stunning. It's like a little piece of Art Deco or something. I don't have it to show you because, you know, I edited it out. And what I found about them, the formulation was stunning. It's unlike any other lipstick I've ever felt. Mind you, you know, I'm not too cuckoo crazy with the lipstick, but stunningly gorgeous. And I mean, one swatch and it was like, bam, color. So number one, they did a lot, I mean their nudes were just too nude for me. So just kind of dead nude and then the, the vibrants were too vibrant. But I did purchase one of them and when I put them on, they're so creamy that as soon as I swatch, or like put it on and then went, I would get streaks all over my lips because I think they were just so, so creamy that I just could never get rid of those streaks. So I'd almost had to sort of do this to it. And, um, and then do that again, and it was just, it's almost, it was too good for its own good in some ways. So, um, yeah, I never, I never reached for it. It was just a bit too much work um, in that regard. And, but then I just, you know, I just want one of those lipsticks so badly, and I'm going to have to go to the counter and really just try every single freaking one of them, because I need one of those. But, alas, it hasn't happened yet. But they came out with this, and I had to go buy it the other day. And it's a gloss. Pricey, yes. They're all pricey, in Canada anyways. I'm wearing it right now, and that is just like the glossiest gloss I've ever felt. I mean, that's just so stunning. And I have to say they're really sheer, beyond sheer. Not much color at all. I think the number seven and the number three were probably the most pigmented. This is in number five. I think it was called Sweet Almond or, or, or something like that. And um, I love it. I love it. Would I repurchase multiple ones? I'm not sure yet, but this is the one thing I do like. These two, I actually really, really like. This, I mean, it's probably too pricey for what it is, but, you know, I just, I just love this little sucker. I don't know why. The packaging is so, mm, you know, it's kind of hypnotizing. Okay, anyways, so hopefully that's helped somebody and perhaps saved somebody money.